Hello world and welcome to another episode of A Moment with Colin Mill. You know it's crazy. I don't think we've done an episode of A Moment with Colin Mill since I believe May 2017. Sheesh, it's been a while. I'm sorry for the wait. Well, I know if you've been paying attention to Carmel.com, you know that I've been doing other things. You know, uh, there's been kicks of flicks, freshest news. I've been developing and actually in pre-production of a new feature film right now called Idiot Boyfriend. Uh, You know, if you guys see me on Snapchat or or YouTube, I'm sure you've seen all of this stuff going on. And I'm actually developing a whole bunch of other series. We already started shooting like 12 series. I'm sure it's crazy. When I first started Carmel.com, it was just a place to put all my stuff on because I had so much videos on social media and they were all on different YouTube accounts. But I decided to put them on one site. And it was just more of a portfolio at the beginning, and now it had grown into its own, you know, with its personal blog, and now here it is turning into its own lifestyle channel. But uh, stay tuned for all of those things. But today I just want to, you know, come here, tell you guys what's going on. You know, if you haven't been hearing Mac and with Miles every Sunday on Freshest FM at 4 p.m., then I'm sure you're not, you, you're not really, you, 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 might, you're not, you might not be in a loop. So I'm like, let me come here and tell you guys what's going on. Also, another new thing is that I'm on iTunes, I'm on Spotify, I'm on Google Play. If you haven't heard my podcast before, you know, before you have to really go on my website to find it. Now, you'll be able to find it on all platforms, thanks to Anchor. I'm on, yeah, I don't know if you guys heard of Anchor. You know, I'm not getting paid for this, but Anchor allows you to post your podcast on any platform. I heard it from Gary Vee, and I can honestly say it works. For, so if you're trying to do podcasts, you, want, you might want to check that out. But I just want to talk about staying on course. You know, a lot of times people start something and when they don't see it doing anything, like when they don't see any reaction and when they don't see, you know, it growing, they question themselves and then they're like, do I really want to do this? And they find themselves doing something else. What I realize is the problem is on social media, people want to come off as the experts in the beginning before they even do anything like I've been making movies since I was a kid, you know, but I can't be saying, oh, I'm as big as Steven Spielberg because I I don't have the track record for that. So I couldn't make that video and try to sell anybody on on that. You know, a lot of people try to, you know, be like, yeah, you know, I don't want to say they try to be something they're not, but at the end of the day, they don't focus on the journey. And that's what I'm here to talk about. We need to focus on the journey. You know, we, you know, we look at social media and there's a lot of people who have made it and are successful on social media. And, you know, we feel like we need to be, we need to look like our account, our profiles need to look like theirs, which is, that's not true at all. What we need to do is focus on our own journey, focus on our own struggles, and figure out how to reach our own audience, our own little niche. You know, we can't just try to get the whole world in the beginning. You just got to focus on your niche, focus on your neighborhood. You know, if your neighborhood could see, you know, if they could follow your story, then the whole world would want to follow your story. You know, but, but maybe I'm I'm a little biased cause I'm in New York, so I'm, my neighborhood is a giant melting pot. I'm in New York, so. But I'm just saying, people, if you really try to just focus on your niche, focus on your demographic, you know, and that could, and when I, and if you don't know what, what I mean by like your demographic, I'm, I'm talking about the people you're targeting, the exact people you want to buy your products or, you know, get your services, you know, or the people that you just want them to hear your stories or, you know, hear what you got to say, you know, figure that out, you know, you know, I'm an African American, so I feel that my niche should be focusing on the African-American community. Now, a lot of people think, oh, well, no, Carl, you know, this is 2018, should be diverse, and blah, 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 blah. And, yes, I agree. I'm not saying, like, you can't be diverse. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying, Black Panther did how much this year? And that's when he fo- that director focused on, focused on his niche for a while, and look where he is now. So, you know... And it's not to say that I'm over here trying to bring back hood movies. They already got the Superfly remake for all that. But I'm just saying, you know, they, you know, I, I know what I feel. I know what the audience is missing because I am the audience. And I've go, I go to the theaters and I know what I want to see on the big screen. And when I create those stories or create those images, I've watched other people watch my image and seeing them go, yes, this is the type of stuff I've been waiting to see. And it works. So I just have to keep going and keep producing and keep showing the journey. So that's what you got to do, people. Find out what you want to do and document the journey online. Show the journey. 
you know, and in the beginning, you're literally just going to be talking to yourself, and but slowly but surely, one of these things you're going to do is going to go viral, and then everybody's going to look back and see how far you came, and they will sit there and watch you with all, especially if you've got a playlist set up, so you just got to make sure your, your everything is lined up, so when you do go get, you know, when you when you get popping, it, it's a lot easier to, fo- to follow your roots, like, oh, this is what she was doing before, oh, snap, look what she was at before, you know, it's a, it's a process, people, and People forget it's a process. People think it's going to happen overnight, and there's no such thing as an overnight success. It may seem like it once things go viral and stuff like that, but, you know, there's no such thing as an overnight success. And for the the few who do get popular out of nowhere, it's hard to keep it up afterwards. It's not like they keep the fame. Some people just disappear. You know, what, what, what was that guy? The chocolate, what was it, purple, chocolate rain? Remember the chocolate rain? Guy, I think that was a chocolate. Guy. He, you know, he was one of the early YouTubers, and you know, he. I think he had a maybe a sponsorship deal from for maybe a, little, a few commercials. But do we see hear from this guy anymore? There's a lot of people on YouTube, or Vine, or Instagram, or you know, or whatever. These, you know, there's so many platforms. There's a lot of people who go viral, and they don't know how to maintain that. That you know, being in the front view. You know, they let it run its course, and then they end up going back to their regular life. You know, but then you got a few other people who figure out how to make a brand out of that and figure out how to either, you know, have a, a service or a product to sell with it. It is up to you at the end of the day what you want to do. I can't say, you know, promote yourself as an expert because if you're not an expert, don't say you're an expert because it will show eventually. You know, every, every, soon everybody's going to realize Emperor got no clothes on or well, eventually he's going to see he ain't got no clothes on. But you just got to do what you got to do, people, and show people what you're doing. Stay focused. Well, that's all I can tell you guys today. This was a moment with Colin Mill. Stay tuned. Visit ColinMill.com. Subscribe to the newsletter. Get more updates. I'll see you guys soon. Much love. God bless. Two pieces of chicken grease. Talk to you later.